Big news. She has crashed through a speed and gender barrier. Danica Patrick, who won the top position in NASCAR's upcoming big race, the Daytona 500. It is the first time a woman has ever earned the lead spot in this grueling physical sport. And ABC's Paula Farris shows us the secrets of how she did it. In the 65-year history of NASCAR, there has never been a female winner. Danica Patrick in green. And but after Jeff winning Ford Daytona's pole position, Chevrolet. Danica Patrick One is like in position this, to change that. It's just like anybody else in this moment. I'm happy. I'm proud. So how'd she do it? Danica credits her team, state-of-the-art car, and grueling workouts. Biology tells us men's muscles outperform women's in endurance sports, and racing is like a three-hour workout. So Danica says she focuses on her upper body strength, building neck muscles like a linebacker to stay upright during those hard turns. Controlling the steering wheel is like holding a medicine ball in front of you for two hours. Punching the brake pedal on those turns is like pushing down 300 pounds. All the while battling sauna like 150 degree temperatures inside. Add a bodysuit on that. Drivers can sweat off seven pounds in a single race. Is there any doubt in your mind that she's in the best physical shape that she could be? No doubt in my mind. Uh, she's constantly working out, watching her diet. Take a look at this. Danica dwarfed by her male counters, eight inches shorter, 50 pounds lighter. She's leveled the playing field despite those staggering physical differences. She has not set out to be the fastest girl. She's set out to be the fastest driver, and she proved that. Even the daughter of one of her fiercest competitors, Jeff Gordon, taking a photo not with her dad, but with Danica. She's already shattered history, marking this track's fastest speed in decades. Next Sunday, Danica Patrick may just do it again. I don't give myself a super high chance of winning, but I give myself a chance to win. Absolutely. I do think that it's possible. Now, Danica was the favorite to win the poll. That means she will start Sunday's race in the front row on the inside part of the track, leading that elite pack of 45. And how many poll winners have gone on to win the race? Only nine, and the, the last uh, winner was in 2000. But Vegas likes her odds, dropping her from 18 to 1 all the way down from 66 to 1. Okay, it's still a great achievement there. Thanks so much, Paula Ferris.